Daddy. Mm -hmm. It's me. And then we're gonna go What's to up with your hair? see Papa. <laughs> I need my handshake. Mm -hmm. We are packing the car and heading to the airport right now to fly to Florida uh, because Kristen and I are shooting a wedding in Key West. So, but it is early and I need some coffee. <laughs> Myers, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> here in Key West. Um, we're here to shoot a destination wedding together, which is really nice. Um, Kristen's gonna be doing some of the photography for the wedding, and, uh, and she's also gonna be my second shooter for the wedding film that we'll be putting together for this couple. We got here last night. It took like an entire day to of get travel. here. Um, I don't think there's an easy way to get to Key West, it, but it, it is, it's beautiful here. It's just, it's so hot and <laughs> muggy. It's sweaty. Yeah, this is probably really attractive. <laughs> but with everything kind of happening in such close quarters, we wanted to go outside and outside of the, the wedding reception ceremony venue all in, all in one spot. We wanted to go outside of that and kind of get um, some shots all around the island. Look, there's another one of those roosters. <laughs> There's these chicken rooster things all over everywhere, the all over the island. They just wander around and people just kind of go, oh yeah, there's another one. It's not even a big deal. <laughs> Kristen and I have a couple of weddings this summer where um, she is not doing photography, but she's my second shooter. So this will be nice. This is the first one that we're really working sort of as, uh, you know, a videography team. We're very used to working as a team where she does photos and I, I do the videos. So, uh, and she's she's a Canon person mm -hmm. and she's got her new 5D Mark IV. She's gonna be using uh, for some of the after hour stuff. Mm -hmm. But and you you're know, a Sony person. I'm a Sony person. <laughs> Opposites track. Even though Kristen doesn't have a lot of experience with Sony, she's got a really good eye. And so having a second shooter that just knows framing and knows the shots I think is really important. I, I honestly, I, I've reached out to a couple people to do some second shooting and it makes me nervous. I, I don't know why. I mean, they're, they're people that also do videography or photography. They're not as pretty as me. They're also not as pretty as she is. <laughs> also, they're dudes. <laughs> the hard part about flying the drone here is that most of the island is in a class D airspace where we are it's not which is great I think we have about a mile around that but on this end of the island there's a uh, naval base mm -hmm. um, which is restricted airspace so you can't fly in that space and either about three miles that way is, is the, the airport. airport so luckily there's a great beach over this way that we're gonna go explore so okay so we're headed to the beach See ya.
So this this grew and then and then planted into the ground? Yeah. That's so strange. Yeah. That's so weird. It reminds me of Stranger Things. Stranger Things. <laughs> By our yacht. This is just our vacation yacht. Weekend, weekend yeah, yacht. We couldn't bring the other one. It was, it was too small. Yeah, for what we needed. Yeah, so just like hanging out here. Jeffrey, start the engines. She wants to get the boys souvenirs, so I suggested knives. Charles. Nope. But no Charlie. <laughs> huh. Guess we won't be getting our one and a half year old a knife. Babe, let's go up here. Come, hurry up. <laughs> Little butterfly. I see your butterfly. Pretty. So, how long were you guys married? We were at, we were married 17 years. Okay. We were together a lot longer than oh. that. <laughs> Nice. How long were you together? Oh gosh. Um, well, let's see. I guess all together we were together um, 25, 26 years, wow. something like that. Oh, that's awesome. It was awesome. We had a great, great time. Aww. Traveled all over the world, did all kinds of things, and I'm so glad we did. Well, Judy was super sweet. She was adorable. That's nice. Yeah. I, I love that she gave us these butterflies, but then I saw that they were for sale for 75 cents, and I got I got a little bit nervous she was going to charge us. Yeah. She, it, she didn't charge us, did she? I don't know. I didn't check the did receipt. we look at the receipt? Yeah, she might have. <laughs> it just it reminds me of the time we were in the Dominican, and... Um, yes. And we, <laughs> we went to... We had to buy cinnamon toothpaste because they... They confiscated our toothpaste at. at yes, uh, don't pack full size toothpaste yeah, to carry on. TSA took it away, and and so we were we had to buy cinnamon toothpaste, and they um, kept throwing candy. Yeah, at they us. threw us. They threw candy at us, and they. I thought it was for free, and and on the receipt they charged us like a dollar twenty five for a little. It was a warhead. Yeah. It is really really bright. We're walking to our flight again. This is a bigger one though. It's not a little puddle jumper. Yeah. It's, but it's like but, two football fields away. It looks like a, an emergency landing where people are coming off. Yeah, it's gross. Um, not Key West, but uh, we have four hours to kill. And um, I introduced Kristen to Game Pigeon, and she's like, really competitive, like really, really competitive, and it's kind of uh, hilarious. So I, I, I'm winning, and so we'll see what happens. But it's really, really, really kind of funny. I'm just telling them how competitive you are. I'm not competitive. Ah! <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I am competitive and I hate it. Not competitive at all. <laughs> How'd that go? I didn't make any. Answers. No, you didn't. It's your turn. My turn. Hurry I'm up. about to win. Hurry up. Shut up. Okay, come on, finger. You get a redemption shot. 
<laughs> okay, bye. So Kristen's back from pouting about me beating her in the game. So we've only got a couple minutes left finally from waiting here for four hours. It's uh, 9 15. Four hours. Was it four hours? I think it was six. It was a really long time. <laughs> We're very tired. <laughs> I just want to go home. You shot the <laughs> wedding all day yesterday. There were a couple things about the wedding that I thought were really unique and a little bit different. Um, we did a first look, the first look, which isn't unique or different, um, but trying to work in a really tight, narrow space for that, up on a balcony level of this place, the Hemingway House, which is gorgeous, really, beautiful. really honestly beautiful. Um, but then they wanted to do a first touch. I didn't, I didn't know that that's what it was called, a first touch. Um, but that's, that's where the two are, um, like around the corner, they can hold hands, but they're not saying anything. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was really cool too. Um, but this was the first time I did an exit with confetti. Yeah, And I thought cool. that that was pretty sweet. But you know, you learn a lot. And one of the biggest takeaways I have was about the lighting. You know, obviously at this point it was pretty dark. It was almost 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. um, but we did like a backlighting, which was great. With our spotlight. With a spotlight. And then we used the torch LED in the front, you know, definitely further away. And I shot this all in slow motion with the photographer right next to me. Um, and I thought it was a pretty smart plan, except that as the couple got closer to the torch LED, they started to get overexposed. So, um, again, glad I shot it in slow motion so I can get a longer length of time of them before it gets overexposed but and they were I don't super know. cute because they stopped and kissed in the middle yeah. of it so oh yeah without direction yeah, it's cute. having really good couples that want to get married at really cool locations is certainly key um, the band that they had was ridiculously awesome Patrick and the Swayze Patrick and the Swayze is so freaking good yeah. the the lead singer um, I don't know where he finished. Somebody said he was top three in, in American, in American Idol. Idol, which last season I, I guess. I get it. I, actually, I don't understand how he didn't win. He's it, it was incredible. Pride to pack like minimally. Yeah. Mm -mm. That Not was when you go to Key West. that was a horrible mistake. Yeah. I could have packed three more shirts and still have no, underpacked. Even more. Even, it was yeah. so hot and sweaty and humid. Um, we would go outside from our hotel room and our glasses would fog up yeah. because it was such a difference between our room and outside. We had to leave some lenses out in the open uncovered and let them sit there for several minutes simply because they fogged up and we couldn't use them. So, so many things to have learned. Um, the other thing too is just to be honest, I know we joke around, but to be honest, I need to do a better job teaching. Uh, and instructing Kristen more on the videography side. I mean, it's not just the difference in photo and video. Custom buttons are what they are, and they're set up a certain way. And uh, and so I got to take take some time to do that. But in the Zion Crane, holy yeah. cow! Like heavy. It's heavy, and like you because it's, it's a you, freaking lightsaber. You want to like move it this way, and then it goes behind you, and it's, you have to. You got to be one it, with the force. Um, there's a line at our gate, but I haven't heard anybody call for should us. Should we go? We'll be, we can go it'd home. be horrible if we were late and missed our flight after having a six hour layover doing nothing. All right, well, we're gonna kind of cut it off here. It's late, I'm not gonna do anything on the plane. But thanks for following along in our journey. We hope that you like this video. Uh, please subscribe and like the channel and hit the little bell that's down there in case you want to just, you know, follow along with our adventures this summer. We, we have so many other places that we're going to travel and things that we're going to do, and we just love to have you along for the ride. Thanks so much for watching, and happy filmmaking. Hi. I was going to do that too. Oh, were you?